when we talk about colors I'm giving this bell pepper an outline with a black pencil and next I'm going to be coloring it orange I'm going to start with the darkest red I have and this is the highest pressure I could give on these pencils because I'm giving it an outline For shading, I'm going into circular motions and I'm giving lighter to medium pressure so that it fills up the space like this. And this is by red, I don't know the light name, but this is red. Since I'm going to make it look since I'm going to make it look a bit orangish, that's why I'm using red. If you want to make it red, you're going to use maroon as the base color and red on top of it. Once I'm done, I'm going to put medium to high pressure on my pencil and go in circular motion. This is the shading technique I learned from YouTube and honestly, it has helped me a lot. For the base, I'm using red. like pressurized red I don't know this sounds funny right okay and I'm going in circular motions on top to give it a very orangish red color and you have to be patient while doing it just go in circular motions and fill the whole thing up I or I used to assume, yeah, I'm, and I'm adding a bit of yellow for the highlight, although I've used white, but I'm still using yellow for the color transition. I always used to think, how does this drawing look so saturated? And now I know, it's just layers and layers of colors and with different pressures, I assume. look saturated, they look real. I had to do some outlining again. I still don't know why I didn't do it in the first place. For this talk, I'm using the darkest green I could find. And the tip is just horrible. Because it keeps breaking off. And this is the lighter green. And then I have to fill it in with the darker color that I used earlier but with a broken tip and just blend it 